and we're the Clarity Girls. And today we're going to continue on our chakra journey all the way up, landing at our heart. So the heart chakra is going to be right where you expect it to be, right where your heart is. And this can come with one of, or well, not one of two colors. It can come with two different colors. If you want it to be in the pretty rainbow format, it's got to stay green. Um, and then some people like me prefer it to be pink. And I love that beautiful emerald green, so whatever works for you. Your heart chakra is responsible for joy. It's responsible for your ability to give and receive love. Um, it's responsible for balance and finding balance. So if you're experiencing any of those issues that you're not really experiencing a ton of joy, you're feeling like you're having a hard time connecting with people, watch this till the end because we're going to give you some tips and tricks on how to fix that. Absolutely. So um, when we have malfunction in the heart chakra, we see stuff like chest pains or um, high blood pressure sometimes if it gets really bad or even just trouble breathing or upper back pain. Yeah, any of those physical symptoms in that zone, same with the other chakras, if you're having physical symptoms in a specific area, check out the chakra related to it so you can clear that. But this for me always screams like emotional stuff, you mm -hmm. know, this is really the center of um, and especially for empaths, people who are super sensitive uh, and light workers, you might experience that if you get hurt, your heart chakra will actually shut down. That's going to feel super isolating. It's going to feel hard to connect with people. Um, and it's going to cause you a lot of concerns. Right. It might be really hard for you to feel the love that other people are sending to you. And it might also be hard for you to send love out to other people if that's shut down. Yeah. I always find too that if your heart chakra is off, you're going to feel super indecisive about everything. It's going to feel like nothing is clear and you can't make a decision to save your life. Yeah. Even paranoia can come with that a little bit because mm -hmm. when we're shut down, we're just not connected. Yeah. Um, you might feel like you're not worthy of love. You might feel like you don't want to connect with people out of fear of getting hurt. There's a lot of fear involved in this chakra. Right, yeah. So how do we fix it, right? Because nobody wants to have a bad heart chakra. Yeah. Nobody wants to be blocked up there. So um, we can fix that one of the ways is through using crystals, just like with the other chakras. So again, anything that's going to be pink or green, so stuff like rose quartz, stuff like emerald, um, is going to help with that heart chakra. I'm a huge fan of yoga to open that space, so there's a ton of different yoga poses that literally just kind of like push your shoulders back and clear that space out. You can also do some deep breathing and that will go right into that space as well just to open that up. Right, or also practicing empathy. So really doing your best to consider where other people are coming from, what other people might be feeling. Some of us do that a little too well, um, mm -hmm. which can impact our heart chakra too. Um, but also just trying to connect with people and really understand other people will open that up. Visualization is another great way, as mm -hmm. we've talked about with all the other chakras, is just envisioning a light flowing in, green light, pink light, whatever color you like best coming in and just opening that up. You can envision a flower opening, you can envision a wheel spinning, whatever uh, visualization works for you. Right, and then also working on self-love, something we all need to work on a little bit. Um, so things like saying positive affirmations to ourselves, saying kind things to ourselves. If you have a lot of negative self-talk about your value or who you are um, or how you feel about yourself, this is a really great way to undo some of that um, and open your heart chakra up. I also think that uh, self-development or personal development, really getting in tune with your wants, your needs, your likes are a really great way to open this up because you're getting aligned with yourself and that really pops your heart chakra right open. Right, and then the last thing is like surrendering to a higher power. Right? That's really important. It's hard. Yeah. I try to control things a lot, but for me, when I really need that, I really try to hand that over to God. And I find too, if you use your first name in it, that for me like works just a little bit better than being like, okay, I'm going to do this. It's like, let it go, Nicole, give it to God, let it, you know, hand it over, whatever you have to do. It's just a little bit more powerful. It gives a little more oomph. Yeah, mine looks a little more like desperation and begging, but <laughs> however you want to do it, you can swear, it doesn't matter, yes. just just ask, open that up, and, and let it go, because a lot of the things we try to control, just, we can't, so really look at that situation too, that'll help along the way. So this is it for our heart chakra video, and we will be on to our throat chakra next, so right in this zone, um, to get you cleared up there, but if you want any more information on clarity, check out the links below and thanks for watching. Bye!